2021 is about to end now and students who are willing to study for free in the UK, I have very good news for you guys because I'm covering about a free MSc from University of Sheffield today. So if you want to study for free, you can stay tuned till the end of this video. Hi guys, I'm Sarika and welcome back to my channel, Your Knowledge Buddy. If my videos are helping you, please do consider liking it as it will help me with YouTube algorithm. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's topic, which is about scholarship from University of Sheffield. So the application is open for year 2022. And uh, as the name suggests, this is in the United Kingdom. And the name of this scholarship is Allen and Nesta Ferguson Charitable Trust Master Scholarships. And the financial coverage, this is fully funded. So it means a full tuition fee waiver will be given to you and maintenance for university accommodation and a monthly stipend. Now, let's look at the eligibility criteria. You must hold an offer by the university by 6th of May, 2022 for one of the following courses. Number one is International Development MA, Environmental Change and International Development MSc, MPH, Masters in Public Health in International Development and Public Health, International Law and Global Justice, LLM, International Political Economy, MA, Global Journalism MA, International Public and Political Communication MA, and Intercultural Communication MA. Now, this scholarship cannot be awarded in conjunction with any other funding awards, either from the university or external sources. Your mode of attendance must be full-time. You must begin your studies at the University of Sheffield in 2022. This scholarship cannot be deferred and you must be national or permanently domiciled in one of the following countries or territories. So this is the full list. As you can see, I've highlighted a few countries because most of my subscribers are from here, like India, Kenya, Sri Lanka, Zimbabwe, Nigeria, Pakistan, Nepal, Egypt, Bhutan, Bangladesh, and Afghanistan. So you can see the full list from here. Now, let's see what are the documents you will need for your application. So first is proof of your previous degree, official translation into English, academic references, English language certificates like your IELTS, your TOEFL, and uh, another uh, supporting statement, including a research proposal where relevant, your CV, and example of your work. And if you want to read the details, you can read the details from this link. I'll upload the slides in my website, yourknowledgebuddy.com, where you can look at the slides and also look at the URLs, which I'm talking about. Now, in terms of timeline, so the full timeline is provided again on their website, but here I've just taken a summary for summer. So as you can see, you need to submit your final application by 28th of Feb, 2022. Here you can see last day to register at the university. Now, in terms of selection process, what's the process? So if you're selected for the final stage of the application process, they will contact you before 14th of May, 2022. At this point, they may ask you to submit a short personal statement or application form to support your application. And of course, further details of the selection process will be provided by the university as well. And if at all you have any questions, you can reach out to them at international scholarships at sheffield.ac.uk. Now, how you can apply? You can definitely apply online through this link. I'll show a very quick demo, but before you apply, after your application, this is how the university will contact you or follow the pattern. So they will acknowledge your application. There will be a section where it says waiting for a decision. Then when they have made a decision and there can be different offer types, they will reply to your offer. You can draw your application anytime, deferrals for the information, and you can ask a question. So through this link, you can check out the details, what happens after your application is submitted. And if at all you got any queries, you can contact them at study at the rate sheffield.ac.uk. Now let's have a quick demo. So the link which I was showing on my slide, this is, it will take you here and you see this green button. You just need to click on it. I've already uh, logged in now. So it will prompt you either as a new applicant, you need to create your account or if you have already created your account, it will ask you your email ID and password which I have already done. So your application is divided into two parts. As you can see, part one and your part two. Part one is your personal details, your contact details, nationality, English language, previous education, employment, equal opportunities, supplementary information, personal supporting documents. And part two is more about the course application, which course you are taking 
and there will be other questions you know why do you want to join this course why do you want to join this university and what will you do once you finish your course so once you submit both part 1 and part 2 your uh, you can submit and the application will be submitted you can any time go and edit anything before you have submitted your application uh so that's all that's a quick demo of the website so if you guys got any questions you can let me know in the comment section below and if you want me to make more scholarship videos like this please do let me know in the comment section so that i can do more research for you guys thanks for watching the video till the end and i'll see you guys soon with my next video till then keep learning